Hey everybody, I'm Boobs Kelly. Welcome back to another video. Today we are shopping for Sophie. Recently, Sophie got her own fashion edition, taking a look at some of the clothing choices that she has made in recent years and what looks best on her. And that has inspired a shop for Sophie video. But really quickly before we jump in, let's take a look at her body type and some of her features to see what might be impacting the clothes that look best on her. This is really important because if you have similar features or body type or styling concerns, then this video can be really helpful to you. I will link as much as I can in the products tab below. If you click the bottom left side of the screen or look in the description box, there should be a products tab that opens up that lists all the products you need and the links take you directly to the items seen and there's little thumbnails with the pictures. So it's a lot more helpful than just links at the bottom of a description box with no pictures. These have the actual pictures, which I love. So Sophie is a little bit busty, but not overly so. She's very well proportioned. She's about 5'5", five five according to most reports. She's really quite average in terms of her body type. She seems to have a slight lean towards a pear, but she's also got a slight hourglass. Her waist is fairly well defined and not super duper short or long either. For ladies who are generally well proportioned and quite balanced in their body type and have a well defined waist can really benefit from taking an hourglass styling approach. Obviously, the whole hourglass apple pear thing is not the be all end all. They are just places to start. If you don't like your wardrobe or you have trouble finding things that you like when you put them on and try them on, then this can be a nice place to start. Just find a few things that you actually like to wear to begin to learn your own proportions a little bit better. And as you go on in, in your journey of building your wardrobe or developing your own sense of style or just simply finding clothes that you enjoy wearing and feel like look nice on you, then these sorts of hourglass pair rules or guidelines fall by the wayside more because you've learned your own lines and proportions and what to gravitate towards or stay away from in terms of accentuating your best features. So anyway, let's move on and see what we can find for Sophie. Also today I'm in a different chair and it creaks. I shopped Nordstrom. Nordstrom is quite accessible and has both high-end and affordable options. This is something I absolutely love for Sophie. It is a simple A-line lace midi dress. I think that the color would look really pretty on her, this sort of a blushy tone, and I love the lace detailing of it. I also think that the hemline would be a little bit better for her than some of the ones that we see. We all agree that sometimes her hemlines are a little bit long on her legs, so something like this that can take it a little bit shorter might be more flattering for her. And I also think that the belt would serve her well because she does have that good waist. This is another option that I really like. She doesn't have super duper broad shoulders or anything like that. In fact, her shoulders are ever so slightly more narrow than her hips. So this would be a lovely option as well and create some beautiful balance. She does have a nice fit figure, but she has slightly rounded shoulders. So occasionally she's worn those really deep wide v-necks, but I feel like this would be a much better option because the top is sort of sheer. It still gives that light and airy aspect, but it's not going to mess with her proportions as much. This so this double pleat A-line midi dress would actually look quite frumpy on Sophie. It's not waist-defining enough to do her figure any justice. It would probably make her look wider than she is in the hips. So this would just throw her proportions off balance and look a little frumpy on her. I would not recommend this dress to Sophie. This one is something that I absolutely love. The pattern might not be for everyone, but I love the puff in the sleeve paired up with that V-neck and the waist-defining tie. I think that this would look spectacular on her. Because her upper body is ever so slightly more narrow than her hips, then she can really get away with some puff sleeves and whatnot without throwing her figure off. This sort of a fabric will also skim her body really nicely, allowing her slim figure to shine. Sometimes we see her in things that have just a little bit too much room in them, which can make her lean into the more matronly sort of a look. Things that fit her really nicely or that can hug her body well do her more justice. Also, because she is a little bit more busty, sometimes you have to order a slight size up to fit the bust okay, so you don't have like buttons bulging out or something like that, which I totally sympathize with, but stretchier fabrics, you can really get away with ordering true to size most of the time. These are two more really interesting options. The pattern on this first one, again, may not be for everyone, but it's a really beautiful design overall. I think the silhouette would do her really well, and this wrap neck 
feature is something that not everybody can get away with, but she really can. Even though she's a little bit busty, the fact that her shoulders are not too wide, she can pull something like this off without feeling overwhelmed by adding so much detail or extra fabric on the chest. Whereas somebody who is extremely busty or who has broader shoulders, this sort of extra fabric and gathering on the neckline might completely overwhelm the situation or make them look a little suffocated. This green dress is really beautiful as well. These are a couple of higher end options here. I'm not sure that the color would necessarily be perfect on her. She has worn a lot more cool toned greens before that look really great. So this one might clash just a tad, but in a different color, I think this would be lovely. It's a faux wrap, so it's okay if you are busty and you're going for a faux wrap, but I absolutely love the asymmetrical detailing of it. That is always a nice slimming effect for people. Next, we have a blouse that I love. This is a floral print ruffle wrap blouse. So it's got a lot going for it. I think it would look really beautiful with some slim fit trousers on her or even a skirt. Here's another similar option that is nice and waist defining. These sort of soft fabrics are so lovely to wear. And for somebody like Sophie, it's not going to overwhelm her figure the way super structured stuff can at times. Also notice a lot of these suggestions have a v-neck, which I think is very flattering on Sophie. Not a super wide v-neck, but a nice classic or narrow v-neck is really beautiful on her and it takes her away from those sort of matronly options. And these are just a little bit more modern. Also the peplum style allows for a little bit of more modesty or just a little camouflaging if you feel like you have a little bit of a pooch or if you feel like your waist isn't as well defined as you want it to be. You have a little bit of tummy weight. Peplums are like the best solution in my opinion to still define your waist but be comfortable in doing so because so much of the advice is just really aggressively showing it off wearing tighter things or lots of belts that draw so much attention to the waistline. If you're not fully comfortable with it then I advise some of these peplums. Now this one here has the neck tie. I'm not positive I would love that on Sophie just because of her bust. It might get a little suffocating on her, but it might not. I'd have to see her try it on. Now this is an example of something that would not look as good. These sort of loose peplums that have this drop peplum that's a little bit lower and just very loose fitting would not be good for Sophie. This would just be so wide and rectangular on her, it would make her look like a box. Not good. This skirt is a no for me for Sophie. This one would be way too boxy for her. It's just a very stiff looking fabric. Imagine Sophie in this. It would be so clunky looking. Here is a version that I would recommend to Sophie because it's fitted throughout the waist and the upper portion of the hips and that A-line just allows for a delicate flare that would balance her silhouette really nicely and the flowy fabric would allow her figure to really shine. This would look very balanced and lovely. This is another no for Sophie because it looks so much heavier and wider. This would shorten her visually and widen her. It would just not be a good option. Because these pleats are focused towards the center, it gives the feeling that the hips are sort of stiff and thick. So it would not be a flattering choice. This is an alternative that would minimize those wider hips a little bit if you wanted to minimize your hips. It's got a nice flowiness to it. And this will lay against the body a lot nicer. Here's another excellent option for somebody with Sophie's body type. This will draw the eye down. I would pair it with a pink or black wrap top for Sophie. Maybe like that blue one we saw earlier, that blue peplum would look really beautiful with this skirt. This one is also really beautiful. It would be a good option for Sophie if she had a high-waisted skirt or a high-waisted pair of bottoms. She would need to pair this top with something high-rise to define her waistline. I know some people don't like her wearing sleeveless stuff, but I think that this would look really beautiful with a high-waisted skirt. Here is another great option. It has elbow length sleeves that have a little bit of a ruffle. So that adds a really delicate touch and I think would look absolutely lovely on her. Again though, these sorts of blouses need something to tie in that waistline to define it to prevent her from losing her figure that she has. So something that is a high waisted pair of trousers or skirt would be perfect. This wrap top would look lovely on Sophie because the contrasting stitching would really draw your eye in. However, again, it needs to be fitted somewhere around her waistline and this particular style of top can be really tricky for that. So you'd have to be really careful to see how it looks when it is, it is tucked into a fitted skirt or pair of high-waisted trousers. So this is a top that would not work very well for Sophie. These sorts of large ruffles on the sleeves will just 
just drown out her waistline. Her sleeves are just going to erase the waist basically because all that fabric there is just going to hide it. So this will be a no because it would literally rob her of the waistline that she has. This is another one that would be a little bit questionable because the sleeves have so much room in them. These ones that are more fitted or gather really tightly before they have the little flare bell cuff are great. However, this one has so much room in those sleeves before it has its little ruffle flare. So this would not work as well for her because again, it's just too much sleeve around that waistline and would hide it. This is something I would not suggest to Sophie or anyone with her similar body type because this top is quite stiff and boxy. Including in the sleeves here, you can see that they are quite structured. So this would be just too much fabric and too much stiff fabric. It might make her look a little bit matronly or a little bit frumpy. This is an absolutely beautiful budget dress. This print, again, might not be for everybody. Print really comes down to taste and what looks good on you. Same as color. The color of something might not be your vibe or might not look good on you no matter how much you love it. But this, if you like the print and you have similar style concerns to Sophie, this would be an excellent choice because of the way it gathers at the waist and it has a lovely fit and flare design. Fit and flare dresses, as you can see, are really attractive on these hourglass or curvier types of shapes. So long as it defines your waistline and isn't throwing your proportions off balance by having way too much structure or volume in the skirt or way too much structure or volume in the upper body area, like around the shoulders, if it's relatively balanced and defines that waistline, and then it will be a good bet for your body type. Here's one that is not budget. This is the Carolina Herrera dress, and I have beef with her, as you guys know, but this one is quite pretty. If you can rock pink and red together, then this is a really beautiful dress, and it would look very flattering on Sophie's figure. The colors, I'm not positive I would be in love with on Sophie, but I do love the design of the dress. This one is a no for Sophie, in part because it has this giant bow on the waistline, and I'm not a huge fan of large tie belts around the waistline or big bow on the waistline. It is a fit and flare. However, see how the upper body has so much fabric there around the chest, shoulders, and upper arms. It would, again, just sort of drown out the figure and make her look much larger than she is on her upper body. So this is something that I would not recommend for Sophie's body type. This is one that could go either way. The flutter sleeves might be okay since Sophie's shoulders are not very broad and a little bit rounded. However, these types of flutter sleeves can be tricky on any body type because depending on where it fits on your body and the structure of them, they can kind of fling outward and kind of make weird little triangles or they can lay really nice and against you. It just depends. But this one might be okay, especially because it's balanced out by a v-neck. I really like this dress here. It's very interesting. The print on it and the design of it has so much interest, but it's almost a little bit too much. The asymmetry along the neckline and shoulder area is not for everyone, but it's really nice and it can be very good for people who have broader shoulders or who have an inverted triangle shape to use this sort of an approach where you have that asymmetry going on. In fact, this dress might actually look really amazing on Meghan Markle because it has this extra paneling and volume that starts at the waist but then travels down into the side and around the dress, which will invite your eye to go down and follow that ruffle along the dress, which would give a slimming effect and keep your eye moving so you wouldn't dwell on any sort of a boxy shape or a lack of a waistline because you have something else distracting you from it, including this asymmetrical neckline and shoulder situation is a slimming approach. However, for Sophie, I feel like this would be too much fabric going on, a little bit too chunky in its approach, a little too stiff, and I don't think it would really vibe with her body type or her style. This dress is really a maybe for me. I'm not real jazzed about the ruffles on the sleeves hitting right at the hip level or the tiered skirt situation going on. I'm gonna say this is a no for Sophie's body type, even though it has some things that look okay for it. A dress similar to this might actually look quite nice on Camilla, although the pattern still is one of those that's a little bit different in taste. This dress I really love for Sophie, but I doubt she would wear it because it hits a little high. If it happened to be a couple of inches lower and hit her right at her knee, I think that this would be 
absolutely stunning on Sophie and it's only $148 so it's pretty affordable. So here's an example of two more peplums that would look really great on her. Notice where the waistline is. It It's quite fitted throughout the rib cage area and then it has that flare closer to the belly button area. That is what you want to look for in a good peplum that is going to define the waist. That is what I found in today's shopping session. I did want to touch base on this really quickly. If you're struggling to find your proportions or some general starting points in how to dress well this is a good exercise to do i do have a how to find your proportions video that is pretty old at this point and i was not satisfied with how it turned out i just for so many reasons don't like that video i will link it in the cards up here it is currently unlisted on my channel but i will allow it it still might be helpful for some but again i'm just i'm not happy with it it's not up to my standards in any way shape or form but here we have a picture of Sophie where you can immediately notice that she doesn't have a particularly long neck. She has a great balance between the length of her upper body and the length of her lower body and her waist is well defined. You can see she has a decent sized bust and you can also see here that her shoulders are fairly rounded. Like I said, if you're having a hard time figuring out your body type, then here is something you can do. You can either print out a few pictures of yourself like this, like from a little ways away, don't get anything super close, don't take it yourself from a mirror, get somebody to take a picture of you from farther away, like across the room and square to the camera. This allows you to rule out certain body shapes and see which one really is the best or most close fit for you. So as you can see here, she really doesn't fit with the rectangular shape because her waistline is decently defined compared to that rectangle. She also certainly doesn't fit an oval shape with her waistline. However, her shoulders are a little bit rounded. Slightly leans into the pear shape just a tad because her hips are just a little bit wider than those shoulders. She also clearly doesn't fit the inverted triangle but the hourglass has a decent fit. This here is one of my favorite looks on Sophie. I really enjoyed this red dress on her. It's one of the times where she wore something that was fitted just excellently for her body, and it's not too long either. I do not love the uneven hemline though. I am a big fan of even hemlines. And I really also like that it looks like the back has a deeper V, which is very flattering for her, while the front has just a regular oval or scoop neckline. If you have a body type similar to Sophie's, oval necklines like jewel necklines, scoop necklines, these types of necklines are really, really flattering and a safe bet most of the time, as well as v-necks. All right, everybody, that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for being here with me today. I really appreciate each and every one of you. Do not forget to check the products tab for more information on the links of the things that I do suggest, as well as any makeup or anything like that that I have on today, I will squeeze in if there is room, but it might be all taken up with the clothing suggestions from Sophie. If there's anything that's not linked there, then check the description box for links. Thank you so much again for being here with me. I hope that you have a happy day and I will see you next time. Bye.